So now let's move on and let's work on our vocal. Okay, so here's our main lead vocal track in green, and we're gonna assign it to the vocal bus. So our lead vocal bus is right here. Have a little redundant thing happening with smooth. So there's nothing on it now except the side chain. Bring up the level and see what it sounds like. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder. Okay, so I think I know why I had two different Soothe plugins. There's some harsher upper mids in here, so let's take a look at how we can deal with those without EQing them out all the time. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder as the radio played forgotten tunes. Walking up and down the boulevard I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars We made love in the rain On a hot day in June Hear the thunder As the radio played Forgotten tunes I remember Walking up and down the boulevard I'd hold you close Key stars We made love in the rain On a hot day in June Hear the thunder As the radio played Forgotten tunes I remember Walking up and down the boulevard I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder as the radio played forgotten tunes. I remember walking up and down the boulevard. Hold you close and thank my lucky stars. Daydream up and down the boulevard. I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars. Daydreams stirring up old feelings. Wonder if you're thinking. About me too So the Fab Filter Pro DS has this really cool feature that you just heard. I hit this headphone button and you're soloing where the DSing's working. So let's try adding some, some nicer high end to it. So what I think I'm gonna do is, these are both going out to the same lead vocal bus on an aux. So now I'm gonna jump up there and see if I need anything additional. Oops. I'm definitely gonna wanna have this compressor. I like this on vocals. So I'm gonna mess with this for a minute and see if this is adding too much grit to it. Down the boulevard, I 
I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars. Daydreams stirring up old feelings. Wonder if you're thinking. That always sounds good. It, it has a little bite, but it, it's kind of cool. So let's see if with that bite, if we can put the soothe after it to tame that. Up and down the boulevard I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars Daydreams stirring up old feelings Wonder I think pretty much our secret weapon would be this guy right here for the high end. Up and down the boulevard. That's nice. So now let's see what our side chains are doing to the vocals. I'm gonna shut them down. In fact, I will shut off all my effects. So we have a lead vocal side chain. Up and down the boulevard. So that's helping a lot. Let's check those guys out. So there's a few right in here. Let's mess with those blends. Up and down the boulevard. I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars. Daydreams stirring up for feelings. Wonder if you So that's great for the bite. Let's see what this one does. I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars. Daydreams stirring up old feelings. Wonder if you're thinking about me too. Memories playing like a... That one's a hair cleaner than the 1176. So I may change my usual blend. This is the Abbey Road TG12345. Up and down the boulevard. I'd hold you close. Let's check it in the chorus. Here it comes. My lucky stars. Daydreams stirring up old feelings. Wonder if you're thinking about me too memories playing like a movie so what's happening is is the first 1176 is giving a little bit of bite but it adds a nice heft to the lower mids this one has a nice saturation and then the the vmr gives it a, a nice like a color like a high-end color to it so let me get to that spot and you can check it out all right so we got our highlighted ones right here so let's hear this part. I'm going to loop the um, second half of the chorus to the second half, a uh, second half of the second verse to this chorus. Well, I loved you right then, and I always will. I remember, recall the nights we spent up on the roof. The summer air was warm with your perfume And daydreams stirring up all feelings Wonder if you're thinking about me too Well, I loved you right then And I always will I remember Recall the nights we spent up on the roof. Well, I loved you right then, and I always will. I remember. Recall the nights we spent up on the roof. The summer air.
as well I remember Recall the nights we spent a so that gave me a little better blend, but it's really bone dry. So let's take a peek at the effects on here and add those in and see what we can get out of them. Well, I loved you right then And I always will I remember So that first one is a small room to sort of give it a feeling that you're not singing in a vocal booth. Well, I loved you It's a little harshness in there, but I'm also having a little issue with some low end, like the richness of his voice isn't really coming through for me. So let's keep working on that, see how we can figure that out. So that delay is way too much in the verses, but when the whole band's in, it gives it a lot of air and a lot of power. So we're gonna work on that on the lead vocal, and we also have to work on figuring out how to bring up some, some thump in the low end. So I have this compressor here when I feel like I need some low end heft. Let's try it. I'm going to the second verse, so I don't have to hear the delay flying around so much. Well, I loved you right then. Well. So this is more of a, a tone shaper, definitely, than a, uh, a compressor for me. So let's try to blend it in. Well, I loved you right then, and I always will. I remember, recall the nights we spent up Okay, so the problem I'm running into with this is I like it, but it's too much all the time and it's adding some bite. So I'm gonna try to set this up on another aux. So it'll be another parallel vocal side chain. Now if something like this works out too, I'll, I'll probably leave this in my template. We'll just put low in there so we know it's giving it some heft.
Blues without it. Now with it. So what happens occasionally is with these side chains, usually having them dry puts them right in your face, which is a nice treatment. But in this case, they need a little, a little bit of the uh, vocal ambience put on them. So let's, let's do that. So let's take some of it over and see what we, what we need in actuality. So let's start with the small room, then we'll do the slap. And then we'll do the reverb first and see what that does for us. And maybe may wash it out, but let's give it a try because they feel like they're a little bit in front of the vocal. And we might want to take it off on some of them. I don't know. We're going to give this a shot. Well, I love We're getting a little better. So my other issue I hear with the with the vocals, whatever's going on in terms of like distorting and, and uh, it's a it's a really great performance. So we kept it, but there's some other stuff happening that I think I want to deal with. So in the reverbs and in the delays, there feels like there's a little too much bite in the voice and there's a little too much presence maybe. So I'm gonna slide down there to all those and we're going to check those out with a lead vocal you have to spend some time on it because it is the most important part of the song so whatever you know you kind of want to motor through everything if you watched me before i was moving quick and i wasn't really you know concerned too much but now i want to really spend some time on this we have this this uh micro pitch shift which is great and i have this spl spreading it out a little bit so let's check out, um, maybe this is a little EQ thing we could do to this. Well, I loved you right then, and I always will. I remember, recall the nights we spent up
Okay, cool. That's helping a little bit. That'll allow us to put a little more of those levels on there. If you notice, I don't sweat a lot of details right away. I just keep going and then I keep going back and carving away. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder. As the radio play forgotten tunes, I remember walking up and down the boulevard. I'd hold you. This feels behind to me, so let's take care of that first. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder. So I nudged it. If you As see up in this corner here, it says a thousand rain. samples. I nudged it two thousand samples. Tunes, I remember walking up. So this little volume fader here, I separated the region. So I'm going to try to level these out so they're a little closer. So I don't have to automate just yet. Love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder as the radio plays. Forgotten tunes I remember Walking up and down the boulevard I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars Daydream So in this pre-chorus, the pre-chorus guitar is too loud for me. I don't want to automate yet, so I'll just bring it down to dB. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder as the radio play forgotten tunes. I remember. We made love in the rain 
on a hot day in June Hear the thunder As the radio play Forgotten tunes I remember Walking up and down the boulevard I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars We made love in the rain On a hot day in June Hear the thunder As the radio play Forgotten tunes I remember Walking up and down the boulevard I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars We made love in the rain On a hot day in June all right, I'm going to go to the second verse, Let's see what we have. When I looked in your eyes, my heart stood still and surrendered. Well, I loved you right then, and I always will. So what's going to happen when you're mixing like this, you're going to get creative and you're going to have creative ideas. So jump on them. So in the second verse, I was hearing an idea. Let's see if I can get that to happen. And I'll show you what, what it was and my kind of easy way to, to do it. When I looked in your eyes my heart stood still and stood still Okay, so what am I doing? I copied it, I assigned it to a stereo out, I panned it left and right, and I put this filter on it. And now I'm going to nudge it in the grid till it feels right, and we're gonna try to make a um, telephone echo. And I screwed that up, so we'll grab that back. 
So we'll go back a quarter for the first, both of them, and then two. Let's see if that works or it's too much. My heart stood still and surrender. My heart stood still and surrender. My heart stood still and surrender. My heart stood still. And surrender, 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 my heart stood still. Okay, so what I did was I duplicated the playlist. I cut out all the words I didn't want. I really only wanted the words still. Slid it around so it felt good. Dialed up my preset for this telephone EQ. Changed it up a bit. And then I added some of the vocal reverb to it. So let's hear it. And I, I still realize when you're listening to it, you might be like, wow, the vocals are still loud, whatever. That'll get squared away. I'm just moving along while the ideas are going. That's what you should be doing. When I looked in your eyes, my heart stood still. And surrender. Well, I loved you right. So right away I hear too much doubling in here for me. So let's check the first verse, see how it fares. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder as the radio play forgotten tunes. I remember walking up and down the boulevard. I'd hold you close and thank my lucky star. So what I'm doing now is I, I went overboard, of course, with all the uh, echo automation. So as I said, I really don't like to write automation this early on, but sometimes it's necessary to get your own mixing performance really happening. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. So I still feel like I want the vocal to be now a little more intimate in the front of the tune, so I'm going to roll down the reverbs. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder. As the radio play forgotten tunes, I remember walking up and down the boulevard. I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars. Daydreams as the radio. Forgotten tunes I remember On a hot day in June 
hear the thunder as the radio play forgotten tunes I remember walking up and down the As the radio play forgotten tunes, I remember walking up and down the boulevard. I'd hold you close and thank my lucky stars, daydreams. We made love. So here's what's happening. As I improve the vocal sound, I'm hearing other things that are getting in the way of the vocal. So now I'm backtracking and working on those. So I was kind of forced myself into doing the automation to really make the vocal at the stage where I want it. So I'm just gonna hang into this verse. What you see me doing here is I'm clip gaining sections of the percussion and the loops. Now I'm gonna do it to the keyboard. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder as the radio play forgotten tunes. I remember we made love in the rain. On a hot day in June Hear the thunder As the radio play Forgotten tunes I remember We made love in the rain On a hot day in June Hear the thunder As the radio play Forgotten tunes I remember We made love in the rain On a hot day in June Hear the thunder as the radio play forgotten tunes, I remember we made love in the rain on a hot day in June. Hear the thunder as the radio play. Forgotten tunes. I remember. So I wanted to set something up a little atmospheric on that line. So I have this crystal algae effects filter, half note, tiny bit of the eighth note delay. I don't even know if we'll need that. Then I have this telephone filter after it. So I'm sending to it and I'm already automating this one line. Forgotten tunes. I remember walking up and down the boulevard. I'd hold you close and thank my love. Forgotten tunes. I remember.
So let's go back a little before the verse. We made love in the... I'm thinking about putting a little break right before the verse. Maybe this whole bar, we have no percussion. That might be interesting. Let's try it. We made love in the rain on a So I think we have to stop the two keyboards also, and probably my trim guitar. We made love in the rain. We made love in the rain on a hot day in June. So maybe we'll bring back the downbeat to give it something to hang on to there. And maybe we'll put some echo on it. So I'm copying the Manny delay from the top loop to the second loop. I'm gonna enable the automation on it. So we'll get a little extra time on the end of that last hit. So it'll give us some ambience, but it'll also give us a nice little break in there because it's kind of continuous rhythm. Let's see what happens. All right, that's cool. What has to happen is, this has to have more feedback. So let's turn up the feedback for this one. Now, on the first one, we're gonna need more feedback and, a, and more of a mix, but we don't wanna do that to everything. So I'm holding down Control, Option, Command, and that'll enable automation for this one and for that one. And I'm also gonna enable automation for the dry, wet. So let's turn up the dry wet first. And then we're gonna extend our feedback a little bit longer and see what we come up with on both sides. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, it's just as long as it keeps moving. We made love. So that's totally fine. So let's see if we can do something similar with the tremolo guitar. Because I don't know if we want to hear it going all the way through. So let's see if this kind of helps us with that. So I'm going to cut it and mute the hit after that. That didn't do anything for me. Let's see if this does. try we made love in we made love in the so let's check out the last guitar that strums So maybe that one needs a little push. So let's put the quarter note guitar delay on it and we'll automate that too. 
all this talk coming from a guy that didn't want to start the automation. Sometimes you just have to do it. You have to follow whatever your muse is for that session. That's just the way it goes. So here's our guitar eighth note delay. So our stick tambourine is, is mighty loud. So I'm gonna lower that in the intro. See what happens. We made love in the rain. On a hot day in June Hear the thunder So in that pre-chorus, what happened was we did some moves on this piano. It kind of really got loud there, so let's lower that. What I heard there that I really wasn't noticing before because everything was kind of gelling together nice was that these two these two drum loops, right? The the one with more of a rhythm almost doesn't sound as good in this case. It almost sounds like we have to lower that in, in the pre-chorus and raise the one with the lesser rhythm. Let's see what that does. Okay, so what, what I'm hearing in this secondary loop, these subdivisions are kind of distracting me from the vocal. So I'm gonna shut them off for now and see if I can, you know, make the front side of the loop give us more, more push. Let's see what this does. All right, so I think I like the way the first half of that sounded, so I'm gonna duplicate that playlist so I don't lose what I had before in case we decide we don't like it. And then I'm gonna grab the first part of it. And I'm gonna loop that, repeat it, I should say. And I think I'm gonna shut this off. And let's see what this sounds like. Okay, so we'll shut the last one. Let's let's pop this delay back in here and see what we got. Probably have to lower it, but it'd be cool to try it.
You can see in this case on this tune there's so many dynamics and there's almost two rhythm sections we're doing it in two passes so that's part one of our lead vocals and more so let's recap what we did with the vocals we went through and tried to deal with all the harshness issues and pull them out so it was really smooth so we could get it intimate sounding then we wanted the breath and the high end we brought that back which was great but we felt like some of the lower end was missing so we, we kind of played with that and found a way through some side chaining for that. So then we got the vocal tone where we wanted. I started blending it in with the track. Then, then I got kind of running down a, a path with ambience and decided I just have to take it and automate that to create this mood because everything else is gonna follow the vocal. So after the vocal got pretty much in the 80% range, I had to go back and start working on those earlier sections. And since the song kind of has two parts where it's the quiet part with a, a small loop rhythm section thing and then the big drums come in, we had to really work that first part to get that to feel good and flow and make some dynamics. And in the case of when you're working on stuff, don't be afraid to shut things off. I, I did a stop in the loop, I cut some things out. If it makes the song better and delivers the performance, you can roll with it. So that's the end of part one of the lead vocals and more, basically. So we'll pick it up again with part two.